Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel for another video of Gran Turismo Sports. And today it's not the beta version, but it's the full version of the game. And last time we didn't get the chance to join a online race, and that's what we're gonna do today. First, we're gonna do a qualifying time. Uh, it, we got seven minutes left before the start of the race, so let's get to the track. I'm going to drive in the McLaren GT4, the 650S. Uh, for this season I signed a driver's contract with McLaren just because I really love those cars. They look really amazing. They are proper race cars and that's why I'm driving it in the daily challenge. I will try to mention some stuff that has changed um, during the beta and the game, the full version that came out. Some things have changed in the steering and I have in the driving. So they probably listened to the feedback they got from the different drivers. Okay, so let's get to the track. So we got a little bit more than 5 minutes left, let's see if we can get a better qualifying time here. So the things that have changed is the way you feel when the car is oversteering or understeering. You can really feel it in the steering and in the braking now. They have changed it, it's more sensitive, it's better than uh, last week that's really the main part that has changed I also did some changes in my settings because I was really having a big that zone in my steering uh, in the middle of the steering I suddenly didn't have any feedback that's why I changed the the forced feedback a little bit lower made it some smoother I also changed the sensitivity So the steering would apply faster in the game. Especially on this track. A lot of steering. Going left, right, left, right. Left, right again. So you really have to get rid of that dead zone because it will give you a lot of advantage more consistency because you get a better feeling of the car I really don't like that ghost it's you can't see anything anymore And I can't find a way to turn it off, so we will have to do it with it. So three minutes left until the first online race I'm going to do. You really have to be very smooth in the steering, very gentle with the throttle on this track.
and in that corner really you need to go more outside and that's something that has changed too when you go off track you immediately feel it in your feedback that's getting away your steering wheel starts bumping all over the place and a while ago when I was having a massive understeer and I was braking too hard I also could feel it in my brakes they really start shaking that's what I like gives you a sim feeling more than a race game feeling Okay, we're doing some really bad times here. Still need to work on our consistency in this game. You really don't want to touch the grass over there. Use this cone to apex, then go flat. And that's why you don't want to go too wide over there. And that's what we have to avoid in the race. So we're gonna quit. We didn't improve our passes time, but we got close to it. Let's see what. So I'm having a time of uh, 53.407, and the top 10 is like one and a half second faster than me. But they're all in the Porsche Cayman GT4, so maybe that's the car you really need here. So we're one second and a half away from the top drivers, but only like one second from top 10 so that's not really that bad <coughs> sorry about that so let's see what we are gonna do in our first online race I'm really exciting about it but also I don't know how the other drivers are going to react I've seen some videos that other drivers just don't care about the safety rating and stuff. So, you also can see I have a Dutch license, but I'm actually like number five. I'm from Belgium, so don't know why I got a Dutch license over here. And we're qualified P1 with more than one second ahead of P2 okay that's gonna be interesting let's get to the warm-up are we going to oh I would have liked the video when the car was driving out of the pit but okay we're gonna do it with this People are already going off the track. So you see what I mean with the other drivers? I don't... The audience for GT Sport is more like gamers instead of sim races and I guess the, the racing will get better when you go to top splits after a while these top splits will be formed and the best drivers will race each other and that's where it's gonna be really fun but in those low splits that are we racing right now 
I think we will have a lot of problems with other cars. And on this track it's really hard to pass, so let's try to keep it clean. But we're starting in P1, so if we can win this race to get better rating and getting better splits, then this will be okay. Okay, so daily race, GT4, race B, at Suzuka Circuit East, got a Ferrari behind us, AMG, a Mustang, with two sec one second ahead of P2, already two seconds for P4, so let's see what we can do here, I hope we didn't get 80 in the first corner, that would be really really bad but and we're off our first online race and I have no idea how to look back and we're already getting hit Oh, he's going off. That made it a little bit easier for us. That was a big cut, but apparently we're not having some slowdowns like we do in high racing so we got the one second gap so it's only a five lap race we don't need to push it very hard because we already have a four second gap and that's what I mean in those lower splits what you get I've seen a race from Sean Cole from the Simpit and he also just got a massive gap to P2 I guess the difference is when you're coming from I racing or Assetto Corsa and you're having a steering wheel a decent steering wheel and some sim racing experience you will be faster in this game too because you just have the knowledge how, knowledge how to drive the car and I mean I'm not even the fastest guy and Still, I've got a big gap, 8 seconds already. I really have to work on that corner. And I guess that's just the difference between sim races and race gamers. And that's what you get in Gran Turismo, you will have people from both worlds in one game. And I really hope the splits are gonna work after a while the better drivers will be separated from the race gamers and I mean this game is perfectly made for race gamers you can easily drive it with the controller and have massive fun you don't need a steering wheel to have fun in this game and that's why this game that's what this game is all about And if you can put those guys racing to each other,
they can have fun and the guys with some really decent driving skills raise them to each other and they can have fun that's what makes this game this Gran Turismo Sports version really great in my opinion I yes I really wanted some more cars more real tracks but I think there will be a lot of DLCs and software updates with new cars, new tracks and even maybe a new game within a one year, one year and a half, who knows so we won our first race against OPA and I guess we have a gap from around 9 seconds more than 9 seconds I guess they are all having some oh that's uh, time that's been added so we have an almost a 15 second gap That was my first online race in Gran Turismo and it was pretty easy. Uh, but it's not it's probably not going to stay this way. and trophies first victory and from Belgium not from Holland nice credits miles distance experience we all get it so we have won our first race and my B is in blue so I guess it went up and we will get a better safety rating but uh, I still have E class so we will stay in these lower races for a while now so guys thank you for watching I really enjoyed it I hope you guys enjoyed it too if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channel maybe check out my drive drive where I post some really nice articles well if you guys think it's really nice <laughs> um, but I post that some articles about iRacing, sim racing, Assetto Corsa, maybe Gran Turismo Sports and you can check it all out there guys see you later and hope to see you guys on track bye